Hello, my convicts and convicts. Yes, I designed a cup of convict, and yes, we're going to play some more. What is it? Cuisine Royale. Yes, I've actually been getting a little bit addicted to this game. It is kind of fun. It is interesting. And it has got some interesting things to it, even though it is very, very silly, with a lot of things, obviously, in the game as well. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, let's go on and let's have a look, shall we? So, I'm, I'm assuming what that bloodline does, it actually gives you blood back or your health back without having to heal or eat, I'm thinking is what it does. I'm not 100% sure as of yet what that does. So we managed to get the car 98 and I'm just looking for obviously a few of the supplies. Now at first I thought I didn't have a teammate because normally when you get teammates you spawn together and for some weird reason that just didn't seem to happen this time around so I don't know. But uh, eventually I do see him, so I ping over there that I want to come over here, and then he's pinging that there's a slot machine over there. I was like, okay, well, I ain't got no coins, no Aztec gold that I found yet, apart from that there. And uh, so I can't really use that slot machine, it's kind of pointless. So I picked up a few things, got the large bag, which is the largest bag you can get in the game. And uh, just double checking if I need anything else. Any supplies or anything. Now I'm not a big fan of these two particular weapons, which is the M field and the car, because obviously they're both somewhat sniper rifles. But hey ho, you know. So I'll come over, use the slot machine and get some plated food. And I'm just letting him know if he comes over, there's some food over here. Um if he wants it. So uh, I did try not to pick up the food. I was gonna give it just to him, but for some reason I don't know, but I thought I'd Ping that out, let him know that's plate of food there if he wants it. And now it's just a case of finding loot. Now I'm playing duos because I wanted to play duos and see. Because uh, sometimes when I've played duos, it's been actually more chaotic. I've found more people very quickly. And it's been a lot more fun in terms of getting into action as solo. Solos is kind of hard to find people. And when you run to fights, you don't seem to get there in time, and then they've just everything everything has happened and they've disappeared. So that's why I've been trying to play duos a little bit, just to sort of see if we can find out, you know, if we can get more action, get more kills in there, and see what we can do. So I'm going down here. These are good places to come to if you've ever played this game. Because they, they generally have some pretty decent loot. I found body armors and stuff in these kind of places. And as you can see, we've got the FG. Uh, the MG, sorry, FG. MG42. And there's some buttocks protection <laughs> over there as well. I was like, okay, I'll have some buttocks protection, I guess. I like, okay, it's TT Magazine. Now, I'm still trying to obviously figure out what is what. So I'm just looking here and just finding out what I've got, what I don't need, and then just get rid of things I don't need. Now, teammate, I believe, was firing, so this obviously prompted me to quickly run over there and see what was going on. Uh, but now I'm watching it back, I can see it was actually shooting off to my right somewhere, so I don't know if he's just testing it or what, but there you go. Then it got stuck in this bit, it's like, come on, let me get through, stupid thing. Let me go help my teammate if he needs help, or if he needs any food or anything, I don't know. Now, a couple of things i like him to do, to be honest, is show my player, my teammate's health bar, and what weapons he's holding, so I know what he's got, and if he's got body armor. Just give us an idea of some of the things that we might need. So he was pinging like there was an enemy here, but... Obviously, there's no enemies here, but uh, I was going to try and use the slot machine myself, but didn't seem to work. Then he, he left the four times scope and I was like, well, I could do that scope because I've got a long range weapon. But seeing as this is asked to take money, I wasn't going to steal his stuff. I just wanted to borrow the scope is all I wanted to borrow. I've just seen what else is here, what I could throw away if there's all else I, I needed to throw away or anything. So, what do I think of Cuisine Royal? I think it's uh, actually a decent game. It's actually quite fun. The aiming's really, really good in it. The hip fire's really, really good in it, which is also a plus as well. 
and it's just the silliness, like the buttocks protection thing and the, the level one pan I've just got on my chest at the moment, which just looks a bit bizarre. So just let me look here what could take, and then notice I was slightly in the zone, so I need to get out of the zone. And it's like, okay, he's pinging over there. So all I was trying to do here is confirm. I'm, okay, I'm coming. But instead, it just pinged that I wanted to go there, and I didn't want to. I was like, go on, let's go. So just running through the woods. Running through the woods. So... All in all, I, I give this probably out of 10, if 10 being the best, I'd probably give it about a 6 or a 7 out of 10. It's kind of funny. The mechanics, the playability of the game is pretty good, but it's just the oddness to the game I think spoils it a little, a little bit. The sort of silly stuff where you put bunny slippers on, you can bounce really high, and the, the rich walls. I don't understand the, you know, the meaning for these kind of things in the game, but yeah, I guess... For some people, even climbing up the ladders is kind of funky. As you can see there, it's not really kind of climbing up the, the ladders properly. It's just warping up the ladders some, somewhat. So I noticed the body armor there. I was like, okay, I'll take that. And then my teammate keeps pinging about this ammo. I was like, well, I don't need that. I don't have that. So I was like, bugger, I'm just going to take it just to shut him up. <laughs> I was like, I've got a gun already. I'm all right. I'm good. So if you do hear my little boy, he's here with me as well. At the moment. So I don't know why he was trying to do that. I'm assuming he was trying to get down. Which it, it's not that easy to get down either. That's kind of weird. I, you get down so... A little bit better animation for climbing up stuff. And that would be probably nice. Because they've done vaulting and everything. The vaulting seems to be pretty good. It's just the oddness in the climbing up and down of ladders. Just a little bit bizarre. So as always, I'm not going to steal this stuff. I don't need a small bag anyway, even though I did try to pick it up. Because we've got a large bag. So just waiting for teammate to finish doing what he's doing. And then obviously, see if we can go over there and give him an hand. If he needs, uh, and uh, get some kills, sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying. That distracted with Frio at the moment. But uh, yeah, I will apologise if I only get one recording out at the moment. It's been kind of awkward to get some done because Catherine's busy doing her college work at the moment. She's she's struggling with it a little bit at the moment. So she needed a lot of help. And then she's got a seminar that's just started now. And then obviously I've got Rio constantly with me. So making it a little bit difficult to obviously get recordings done. So uh, generally when she's at home and she sleeps at home, I don't generally do recordings on the night time because I... I know she'll probably not like me sort of doing gameplays while she's just trying to sleep, so I do try to not to be too much of a pain. So I can hear footsteps here. I'm like, hang on, there's someone else here. This is not him. And just hip fire the absolute crap out of that poor guy. Steal his helmet and his oxygen tank. Like, yeah, give me that. So anything that's in purple, you can swap. I'm just like, but I need to heal because I don't know where the other guy is. Take his jar of food and everything. Anything that's red, that means obviously I've already got it. So I, I give him the opportunity to pick up the other IV line if he needed it. But as you can see, the silliness. She's got a pan on her head. And I was like, holy crap, it's a rocket launcher. And I've never I've seen the rocket launcher in the game. I was like, I'll let him take it because, you know, I'll let him use it and see what he thinks. And then he started pinging. It was like, here, you take the rocket launch. I'm like, I don't want it. As you can see here, I was like, I don't want it though. I don't want it. I was like, no. I've got the car now. It's like, oh, for God's sake. Okay, I'll pick it up. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe I could. Because I'm not good with the car 98. So I'm like, bugger it. I'll, I'll take it for now and just see what happens. I'll just drop all the car 98 magazines. Just in case he needs it. And then just carry on. And then he started breaking windows. I didn't know you could actually hit the windows and break them. I was like, oh, okay. But as you can see here with the pan on her head, how silly does she look? I've got the torch there. Shedding a bit of light on the situation. 
and be the window with my torch. But yeah, it, it, as you can see, the silliness of the game. This is what I mean. And it's like I've got a pan on my shoulder. It looks like a colander. I've got on my shoulder with body armor. Just stuff like that. It's just a bit bizarre. So trying to break stuff. Just waiting around for people mainly. And there's the rocket launcher. And I saw the clock going to the floor. I said, oh, okay. So it does, you can break stuff. Or possibly you can break stuff. And then I was telling him, because there's someone else here. I was like, oh, we've got other people here. Because I can hear them moving. I was like, I don't know where though. It's like, where are they? And I just noticed someone over here. I was like, oh, okay, they're near the house. I was like, they're near the house. And he's busy banging stuff. I'm like, come here. And I didn't actually notice, even though I do see it now. But they got on top of the roof there. So I rocketed him. And there you go. He's out of there. Killed both of them, actually, at the same time. Look, eliminated snipes and Torani. And I was like, can I use it again? But unfortunately, no, you only actually get one bullet, one rocket in there. So shoot the guy over there. See if we can kill him. And then I ran out of MG42 ammo, which is not good. I was like, oh no, I can't shoot. Oh, I've got no bullets. I'm like, I'm stuck. So I had to swap to pistol to finish these guys off. I was like, where is he? And this is this guy here, so I took him out. I think teammate killed him to be honest, but I did try and help him. And I just pick up his stuff. And there's some MG42 ammo there. But I'm trying to reload and find guns at the moment now. It's like, oh my god, I need guns. And then I was trying to swap this. So obviously I'd have some ammo. Because I seriously needed some new stuff here. So I took the tier 4 body armor. I just seeing what else I might need. I was like, right, I think that's good. I think we're good. So just trying to find other stuff here that I can use. And you're being distracting, aren't you, Mister? Be good. <laughs> So I'm just trying to find out what I can swap. I, I seriously need to swap some stuff around. Make sure I got enough ammo. Because this is one thing about Cuisine Royal you've got to be really careful of. You can run out of ammo so dang fast in this game. And then if you do, you're screwed, magrewed. And if someone turns into that beast thing, sometimes I've even struggled to try and reload before he got to me. Which is the character I'm playing at, as at the moment, the guy. Uh, they can just run up to you and punch the crap out of you and kill you. So that's nah, just waiting for teammate and uh, try and explore, see if we can find a bit more ammo. It's like, no, it's not there. So now just trying to figure out what we're going to do next. So it's like, okay, well, I, w I want to get some more kills then. I want to kill people. I don't want to just not do anything. And then I heard someone shooting. So I was like, who's shooting? It's like him shooting in the floor of the shotgun for some reason. Don't know why. So I'm like, right, let's go over here. Let's see who we can kill. I was like, hang on. Where's that four times scope? <laughs> this is what you can see me looking for now. It's on the floor there. I didn't realize I dropped it. I was like, where's it gone? He's like, oh, there we go. That's what I want. I, I think it's because I keep pressing triangle to equip and it's not that. It's square, I think. Or X. To equip it into the slot that you want it. And that's what I was trying to do. So just trying to figure out where these people are. That was down here a moment ago. And I can hear more people over here. So I, right, let's go get them. I don't know what team I was doing. I was a bit worried to go because if he's not participating he's just standing there and banging stuff is is not really gonna be helping me out much when it comes to taking on two people and I saw these two people running through the fields here 
So it's like, right, this is the time to get some kills in because they didn't look like they had body armor on. So I was like, right, if I can kill these two, then uh, then we're good. I tried to shoot him a couple of times. And then I was like, right, let me move back because this guy is shooting. And hopefully my teammate will come over and help me out. So I managed to kill one. And I was like, teammate, please come over here. Please help me. I was trying to reload. And then I jumped up. I was like, oh god, I need to swap. And he just beat me. Just hit me and was like, right, I'm going to die. But luckily, teammate was there. But that, that's the only thing I, I'm not too keen on Cuisine Royale. Is that a lot of time with you duos are really, really not very good players at all. <laughs> Some of them just don't know what they're doing. Or it seems that way. Or they're just not bothered about whether you live or die. I don't know. So at this point now, I'm just trying to find anything I can use as ammo. And he got down, so he's like, okay, let me help you. He's like, hang on, I need to reload. And then I killed that guy, but I'm, I'm guessing he must have died there. I thought I'd saved him. I thought I'd saved him before he died, but unfortunately, it looks like he did, he did die at that point. So I'm trying to run off now, and I was just trying to see if I could actually see one of those fires. So I could actually bring teammate back in, but with the circle being as close as it was, I didn't expect I could do this. So it's me now versus every other team of two, if there is teams of two here. So I'm trying to get a quick reload, and I've got a shotgun and a Mozina. That's what's so weird about this game, is like a lot of the time you end up finding yourself having to use odd weapons all the time, keep swapping and changing all the time. So, just trying to see what can change here, it's like, oh, and then P40. Like, right, I'll take this, instead of the shotgun. And then I could hear other people here, it's like, oh god, I'm in trouble. I didn't know if that was on their own or not, I tried to jump the wall. You can climb walls, but for some weird reason, sometimes it just doesn't work. And obviously knowing this is duos, and it could be any teams now too, I had to be really careful what I did here. I was like, I don't know where this guy is. I know he's somewhere close, but I don't know where. Because I, I think that's one thing with Cuisine Royale. It does, it's got good sounding footsteps, but the direction of where footsteps are is not very good. You can tell where people are, but there's no sort of vertical level of audio. Only like someone's nearby. You don't quite know whereabouts. So at this point, I'm just trying to keep in the circle and avoid people. As much as possible, try and get some more ammo in, and then uh, see what we can do from there. So like, where is everybody? It's like, I don't know, I can hear them, I just don't know where. Then I heard someone over here, and then I just saw him here. Took him out. Like, right, he's dead. I, I forgot about this, that obviously there'd be other teammates. Because at this point, I've run over to him like an idiot. Trying to kill him and finish him off, and then his teammates start chewing him. He's like, oh god, I'm getting shot at. I'm like, right, let me just quickly take some food. And now we go back to full health. Even though I think the IV line does regenerate your health over time, I think. I just, I'm not 100% sure on it, so obviously that's why I don't want to just risk. And then I needed another gun, so it's like, right, let me just quickly take this field And then try and get a reload in. And this guy's trying to shoot me in the back. I was like, oh god. I could just see him here. Like, right, I'm going to go around the back. Trick him. Turn into beast man. And uh, and then beat him to death. There you go. <laughs> just knock him out. I was like, right, can I get the last guy? If I can get the last guy, I'll just beat him to death. In beast mode. If I can find him. And unfortunately, I can find him. So, can we win? Can we be successful? Like, ooh, all this purple stuff. Let's just pick up everything and anything. Just hope for the best. See if we can get a good gun amongst all this. I'm just trying to get in. I was a bit heavier at this point, which was not good. So, I'm trying to keep in the circle. And there we go. We must have died to the storm. So, there we go. We won. And 
we were victorious. So let me know in the comments below, do you think Cuisine Royal is pretty good? We've got 7 kills. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. And yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in another gameplay. So there we go. Level 22, Cuisine Royale. I actually find it to be a pretty funny game. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, bye for now.